Very nice time yesterday hanging with an old uh, cohort of yours, Stephen mm-hmm. Young. He was on the program yes. and we were chatting and Stephen and I have been tight over the years. And I've always thought, I found out that you were coming on the show today and I got, I found myself tightening up a little bit and feeling <laughs> and feeling hostile towards you. Well, and then I was yeah. like, what is that all about? And then I remembered, oh yeah, Jeffrey murdered my friend. I did. I, you I, I murdered, murdered friend. my friend. <laughs> But you know what? In thinking about this, and I need to talk to Stephen about it, I feel like I should get like an assist on the uh, Academy Award nomination. Yes. Because had I not tapped him with that baseball bat, he'd still be on the show. And now look at him. Now he's all uh, in the spotlight and big star and doing brilliant work. So, you know, it's funny because it did occur to me that you probably did him a favor. You, uh, you know, he did like seven, eight seasons on that show. You came yep. along and you said, it's time for you. Time for you to do some uh, Oscar nominated performances in movies. I'm tapping yeah, you out. Go out there and get them. Yeah, you, you, you practiced. You, 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 you've honed your craft here on The Walking Dead. Now go be free. You know, I'm, go. I'm, I'm uh, I, you know, in a similar vein, uh, you, um, I never even realized this, but... You had a scene, which is one of the most memorable scenes in the history of The Walking Dead, where you also kill a very beloved character. And I didn't realize this was a improvised line. There was an improvised line in this scene. You know the, you know the line I'm talking about. I you know, know what you're talking about. I mean, it's kind of the same scene that, uh, yes. that we lost the Glenn in. Yep. Um, you are talking about a, a line improvised by the one and only Michael Cutlets. Yes. I believe. Yes. Yeah, that's an infamous line. And yeah. you guys should be in the Writers Guild because he improvised this line and then you improvised your reaction to it. Can you take us through I that? I did. Yeah, can you take us through that, mo- that moment? Well, it's kind of, uh, you know, in the middle of Negan's introduction and his huge monologue where he kind of... Uh, kills Glenn or kills Abraham first. Yep. yep. Um, and, and so in the middle of this monologue, uh, Abraham, uh, Michael Cutlet says, uh, suck my <laughs> to Negan, uh, or maybe to Jeff. Well, you know, either <laughs> it was, both ways. and then I, you know, I, we had rehearsed it and never heard the suck my so when the cameras were rolling, he threw that out, and I started laughing. Um, all of which it made the scene. I started giggling, and I looked at everyone else in the lineup, and I'm like, "Did you hear what he just said? He just said suck my." Um, and so they kept that all, and suck my has kind of become Michael's thing. Um, and now we go to like we'll do an occasional convention, or I just get stuff sent here to sign comic books or baseball bats or right, whatever right. it may be. And sometimes they have the whole cast, so it'll go to someone's house first. And if it goes to Cutlets' house first before me, he writes, always suck my <laughs> my <Michael Cutler." laughs> Um So that's become his, his little thing. Can suck you imagine what it's like to be him? Because wherever he goes in the world, because this, we're talking about a world-famous uh, show. You can't go anywhere on the globe and people don't know Walking Dead. Anywhere uh, Michael Cutlets goes, uh, people point to him in any language and say, suck my and that's, exactly that's his right. life. That's his life. That's, that's, that's it forever. Or that'll never go away. Suck my n- in every language in every country. Boom.